Good evening, this is meteorologist Steve Lindenberg with the National Weather Service in Springfield, Missouri, with a briefing for the potential of severe weather as we head into the overnight hours tonight and into Wednesday for most of the day and evening hours. As you can see on this map, the highest potential of severe weather will be in southeast Missouri and kind of clipping a little part of our area in south central Missouri. There is a risk of all modes of severe weather in addition to some flash flooding. Here are those modes of severe weather, even tornadoes across far southern Missouri. The highest wind probability will be in southeast Missouri and the south central Missouri. And the risk of hail will also occur over most of the area. In addition to the severe weather potential, we are in a slight risk of excessive rainfall for most of the area. The first round of storms should move into the area early this morning and continue for most of the morning before pushing off to the east. With the potential of another round of strong to severe storms in the late afternoon and early evening. Here is the expected rainfall amounts for central Missouri, two to three inches in portions of the area, and a widespread area of three quarters of an inch to an inch of rain. Now, straight storms can train across the same locations, and we can see uh, enhanced amounts uh, over localized areas. Here is one of our computer models depicting what might occur. It's not exactly what will occur, but it gives you a good idea of the timing and, and what could happen. Here we have uh, storms developing in the high plains this evening and then pushing into our area as we head into about the 4 or 5 a.m. time frame and then pushing eastward across our area during the morning and afternoon hours. As we head into the late afternoon, you can see storms starting to redevelop in southeast Kansas and then push east and becoming severe as you head through the evening hours. Again, this is just one model depiction, but if those atmosphere can recover during the afternoon hours after the first round of thunderstorms, then that second round will be possible. And that's when our best chance of severe weather will occur.